So what is the balance between having patience and holding people accountable? So one of our executives in our mastermind group, unfortunately, he gave a gentleman a lot of chances and this, this gentleman was not following through. He's, he's in sales, this gentleman is, and he essentially has not done any prospecting work, not no sales work, no work that needed to get done for the sales team after repeatedly being reminded of what he needed to do to be successful in his role. And our executive had to let him go. Now, there's another colleague on the sales team, and understandably, he's probably a little bit concerned for his job. Now, he understood why they let this other gentleman go, because he wasn't doing his job, and he understood why he was kept, because he's performing the sales activities. But the question that I want to ask is, what might be going through our people's minds when we let somebody go? I think sometimes we think as leaders, like, oh, we let somebody to go, and maybe that'll be like the swift kick in the butt to, to get them you know, reinvigorated about the work and work really hard. I think that might be the case, but I also think for a lot of people, they're already looking at it as I might start need to, I might need to start interviewing for other roles because I just saw him fire my colleague, the person that I had worked with for the last three years, and um, how do I not know that I'm next? And just by basic self-preservation, a lot of people might be thinking to themselves, okay, what do I need to do to make sure that I'm safe? And I think as leaders, if we really, if we do need to let somebody go, if we do need to fire somebody for poor performance but we're going to keep somebody else that's also on their team that's working intimately with this person. We need to very clearly explain to them why we kept them. And I think we need to very clearly share with them the expectations we have for them moving forward. And I think we need to reaffirm to them their place within the organization, because if they feel as if they are not safe, if they're going to be on the chopping block, they're not going to be spending their mental and emotional energy doing the work we need them to be doing. They're going to be spending their mental and emotional energy trying to find another job which is obviously going to diminish their performance while working with us for the remaining time that they're going to be working with us. And yeah, ultimately not make the situation any better for either party. So I think if we do end up having to let somebody go, it's really critical that we re reaffirm to the rest of the team that we've got their back, that there's a reason why they're still here and that they are meeting their, your expectations and clearly define what your expectations are for them moving forward.